Hey guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm unboxing this laser pet box. Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, before we get started, if you are enjoying my content today uh, or in general, please do consider liking and subscribing because it massively helps me out. That said, let's get started. So today I've got a little treat to show you, uh, which has come courtesy of the guys of JTAC Customs. They've uh, kind of loaned me this just to show off a little bit. Now I've had pick boxes on my rifles for years for batteries. I used to have a bit of a thing for front wiring stuff, uh, but we've now got a fully working laser torch IR uh, pick box from Element. So it comes in a sniffy little case. I love the case, little hard case, um, nice and solid. Um, it does give you a warning to take the battery out, gives you a little bit of detail about it, that it's uh, an integrated pointer illuminator module. So we'll get open and see what's happening. So we've got four little buckles, two on each side, two on the front, and then it's a hinge at the back. We'll lift it up. Ooh, that looks nice already. I'm liking that. Um, we've got just foam in the upper. Absolutely fine. Keeps it safe. Clearly it's uh, nice and snug in there. We've got the actual... PEQ box itself, we'll come back to that. We've got the pressure switch, we'll come back to that in a second. And then just notice there's a little bit there, same manual inside, so I'll lift the foam up. And we've got a Velcro mount. We've got the stickers to label it up if we choose to. And we've got the manual as well. So the manual is pretty well written actually in English, showing that there is uh, power button, the battery compartment, where the lasers are, where the illuminator is, um, obviously front side and back view, uh, you can actually adjust the windage and elevation of this using those two little screws which is a really nice little feature, uh, obviously it is a RIS mount underneath, Quite uh, that's actually quite well made, that looks really solid um, so let's get some batteries in this and uh, we'll see what it looks like so the battery compartments this little bit here so I'll go ahead and screw that so that's a metal cap most of this body is plastic so we'll unscrew that and it's CR123s so let's have a look it said positive first so two of those fit perfectly just wind that in so I believe on the O setting it is that's the off setting and then if we move around let's just check what the manual says so the bottom setting a should be the white light illuminator and it is there is the white light illuminator I'll turn that off again then it's off and then it's visible laser and white light. And there they are. There's the laser and the white light. They are actually quite bright. Uh, the laser looks to be good quality laser. Unfortunately, it's not night time at the minute. And I could have sort of had a look at how far they're going. So turn those off again. And the next setting is just the visible laser only, which there it is. Just the laser on its own. And then the last set setting is the IR laser, which apparently, oh yeah the camera can sort of see that the laser is on in there. Obviously the human eye can't see that, but that laser was actually on in there. Um, so it is fully working. That's actually quite a nice little package. And then back to off again. You also get the uh, uh, pressure pad for it as well. So if we, ooh, yeah, there it does work. So I've got the flashlight only on at the minute and that is Flashing the light, does it work for the other settings? Yeah, it does as well. So there's the laser and the flashlight and it's turning those on. And then we've got just the laser and just the IR laser. And you can see that little bit of red in there. That's only because the camera's looking at it, the camera can sort of see it. So that is working as well. So that does operate it on all functions as well. I actually love that. 
uh, particularly if you're a mill simmer and you're somebody who likes uh, sort of realism, um, that kind of thing, particularly playing your American and, and British forces, then that sort of thing is going to be perfect for you. Um, quite nice and light, even with the batteries in. Comes in a nice little case. I do love the little soft case that it comes with. They've even provided you the Velcro to mount your pressure switch somewhere handy, probably like a vert grip or somewhere like that. Uh, the only real downside is it doesn't come with the batteries. It's not a, a real deal breaker though, is it? These things are cheap and uh, plentiful. You can get them from anywhere. Um, so all in all, nice little toy, a nice little feature to chuck on the side of your rifle, particularly if you're out mill simming uh, and you want flashlight, laser, and not sure why you'd want an IR laser, but okay. Um, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this today. I hope this has been useful. If it has, please do consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you next time. Bye.